So I am going to turn my little DIY solar charge controller into a real thing. Um, this is that uh, boost circuit that I was using last week with the uh, voltmeter and ammeter. And I'm actually going to put them in a proper aluminum case. I'm actually going to screw this down and put a little heat sink compound on the underside of this and screw this down. Since this is PCB was mounted on an aluminum heat sink, this can then sink heat into this aluminum case. I'm going to put a few switches um, to control the input and output, which uh, is important for so that you can set different measurements on here. And um, you know, I'll. Uh, you know, I'll assemble things, probably time lapse that a bit and then show you how it works. Okay, so my little mini solar charge controller is complete. Wasn't the neatest work I've ever done, um, but in the end it worked out. Um, the board is heat synced onto the bottom of this uh, extruded aluminum case and it's screwed in, you saw that. And then I have the incoming solar running in through the switch and then into the boost converter. And I have the, the output of the boost converter running through this switch and then back out through the XT60 and into, into my um, power wall. Um, now, uh, why did I run it through switches? Why, or why, do I only, why didn't I just use one switch? Well, this meter will power whether you have voltage on this side or voltage on this side. So... Um, Having two switches allows me to completely turn this off or else the meter will always be on. It also allows me to confirm some things before the system, you know, before I start charging. So I'm going to turn on the solar 
and the solar is simulated with a 19 volt power supply and it's telling me 29.3.4 volts that is what the output of the um, that is the output of the boost converter right now and that's what the output is set to in constant voltage mode and the reason I know that is because the output of the uh, boost converter runs through this meter and then onto the switch and out to the um, battery so this meter is currently reading the output of the boost converter so I know that it wants to output 29.3 volts which is perfect because I'm charging a 29.4 volt battery then when I turn on the battery the the voltage drops and the amps kick on and what we are now reading is how many amps are being sent to the battery and uh, the current uh, voltage of the battery now the battery is almost full so that's fine but this when you turn on the um, when you turn on the battery the meter will actually read the voltage between the boost and the battery and um, um, so you will you this voltage will drop when you turn on the battery meter and you will see what the voltage of the battery is and this voltage will then rise until it meets the boost output and then your amps will fall off to zero so this is working exactly as a solar charger should work it's putting in amps and it's in constant voltage mode and then it will hit um, it'll hit the constant voltage mode and the amps will taper off to zero and then this and then your battery and your boost converter will be in equilibrium and it'll stop charging um, so yeah I'm pretty happy with the build and the the case and everything like that um, this extruded aluminum was unbelievably thick way thicker than I ever thought it would be and man it, it was quite a job to dremel through it and um, the uh, um, the switches um, they are LED switches and the LEDs are lit um, but you cannot just run 30 volts through these LED switches I have a, a 100k resistor on the um, LED on the there's a negative source for the LED on these switches and I have a 100k resistor attached to it um, because otherwise these the LEDs will see a full 30 volts and you'll blow out the LEDs instantly so um, um, I did put a 100k resistor just to uh, limit the, the current that the LEDs are seeing and they're a little dim but they absolutely are um, they are lit there you go you can see they are lit anyway so uh, yeah I mean here we have a DIY uh, solar charge controller that um, um, you know is doing what it's supposed to and then another nice thing is I can kill the solar input and then you actually see the voltage battery so if the, the battery is on but the solar is off you see the voltage battery if the battery is off and the solar is on you see the what the con what the boost circuit is currently trying to output and then when you turn on both um, you'll see the amps being charged and you'll see the midpoint between the voltages until that rises and the you get equilibrium in the battery and um, and again then the amps will taper off so yeah, that's my little build and um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it.